Just like when Noah built the ark was a righteous thing unto God, when a believer is baptized, it's a righteous thing unto God. And you know what it does to everybody else that rejects? It brings condemnation unto them. Just like everybody was condemned by the waters of the flood, those who do not follow after Christ in baptism because they're saved, they're being disobedient. If God commands us to do something and we don't do it, how can we have a good conscience towards God? Amen? But the nation of Israel, when they repent and believe the Messiah and submit themselves unto baptism, they now have a good conscience towards God. I have rejected, I have not believed, and now I do believe. And here's my proof. You see, for us, baptism, we rejoice. It's a joyous celebration. And for the Jew, it was also a joyous celebration, but it, it brought about a lot of hardship. Family members would disassociate themselves. They could lose their jobs because they turned away from the law of Moses. They could face death because of their baptism. You can believe inwardly and never let it show, and I believe you're saved, but once you make that public profession of faith in baptism, folks, everybody knows it. Paul could have been on the road to Damascus and he could have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ if he kept to himself, he would have been just fine. But when he got baptized and he went forward, guess what? Everybody wanted to kill him. So what is this saying? It's saying this. That just as God saved a remnant of mankind in the flood, that God is saving a remnant of Israel for the millennial kingdom. And what separates them 